that, you guys. That's how you do a traditional Sichuan hot pot. This looks amazing. Jeez, this is the best. Very good. Hey guys, we are, guess where we are? We are at uh, a city called Guiyang. Hi guys. So Guiyang is pretty much in the very central part of China and it's so green. Yeah, and the uh, sky is so blue. Like, it this place reminds me of Vancouver. So this quiet. Is, uh, so right now we're at the downtown, pretty much the downtown area. Um, I guess a lot of people, they're not very familiar with this city. It's definitely not one of the biggest cities in China. It's only housed about 5 million people. I guess 5 million is a lot of people, but not considering considering Chinese, Chi Chinese standard, that 5 million is like pretty much like a little town. It's a town. But the air, air quality is amazing. Place. It's uh, it's pretty a tradition. It's a traditional Guizhou like cuisine, and uh, they have a lamb hot pot and dog hot pot. Dog. Dog meat, yeah. Dog meat. Oh my so god! I have not seen this anywhere in China. Yeah. They don't uh, have this in Shanghai. That's huh? No, no. Not in Shanghai. Yeah, not in Shanghai. What do we order? It's a feast right now. This is a, a local number one dish. It's a sweet sour fish in a hot pot. And uh, put on cilantro, add a spice on top. And this fish is a particular fish only produced in this region. It's uh, sort of uh, kind of like a catfish. It doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of bones. So it's very easy to eat. And uh, you can add whatever you want, but for us, we just add some vegetables and noodles because we don't want to have other meat to kind of overpower this authentic dish. So, thumbs up. It's just so good. It's in, I didn't have it. It's so good. We're just sitting at this restaurant. Let's check out the gorgeous view. 26th floor, downtown Guyon. First, second dish just came out. This is the uh, fried potato. It smells really good. The sweet sour pork. This is one of my favorite dishes. In my area, in Shanghai, this is a very famous dish and um, I just been craving for sweet sour food. So our third dish coming out. This is a, this is a very traditional dish. Wow, did you smell it? Yeah, it, it smells, smells really good. good. Traditionally, really this would have a lot of chili spice. There's a lot of chili here. spice. Same with the potatoes? Yeah. Basically everything. Everything. They have to put a chili sauce to so kind of enhance really the flavor. This local area, the people love sweet, sour, and spicy all in together. Babe's eating cauliflower. I love this a lot. It's like cauliflower and mercy soy sauce. Basically, you can give me any vegetable and soy sauce. How's the potato? It's exactly the type of food that I like. Yeah? Um, potato. Hot. It's good, I like the cauliflower. There's a special dish here. Frog legs. Frog legs? Yeah. With vegetables? Actually with chili sauce. Frog legs taste good. It's like chicken, but tender. Hope you can see that school over there. So it's nine o'clock at night, and it looks like school just got out. Like there's herds of teenagers coming out. High school. High school. 
That's crazy. Nine o'clock. That's like nine o'clock. That's when school ends. Some kids are already like waiting at the bus stop. Yeah. Now we're close to a hotel, looking for a restaurant. What do you feel like food. having? I want to eat local food. Yeah. Uh, it's the last day here. Just want to eat something so authentic, really represent the uh, the local. So um, I think we're gonna get some hot pot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Started with a hot pot, ending with a hot pot. So this is probably the number one restaurants in this whole region. Walk in and everything just looks so new and clean. Yeah. And very uh, really authentic, very uh, original. Really represent the ethnic people in this, in this area. So. so guys, so we just, uh, this is the biggest pot that I ever had for my dinner. <laughs> This this pot literally, I don't know, man. It looks like a, it looks like a basket. It looks like a shopping basket when I see it in Canada. So this whole entire bucket of very tasty soup, together with the fish and uh, this entire dish, we're gonna add a lot of vegetables and. Uh, Potato and mushrooms. We have a little prepared dipping sauce. Most mostly it's just chili sauce, but we also gonna add a little bit of vinegar and soy sauce to our own taste. And uh, we're gonna put the sauce, put a little bit of soup base in the sauce, so it adds an enhanced flavor a little bit. And uh, we're still waiting for more food coming in. Um, this dish is, it's, it's. I mean, we tried last, last uh, two days ago. And it's a signature dish in this whole Same dish. Same dish in this city. And I just can't get enough of that. Make sure to subscribe, hit that red button below, hit the bell button to be notified every time we post a new video, and just um, come along on this crazy trip with us.